As summer fades to autumn and green leaves turn to brown, the children play their timeless games ere back to school for verb and noun. The corn has ripened in the fields, how tall its stems have grown. It seems t'was only yesterday that its tiny seeds were sown. The swinging sights of reapers, their harvest rhythms play, and in the ivy the patient owl awaits his moonlight prey. Yon thatcher with his knife and sheaves, a grassy roof adorns. Some winter nights will test his skill with rain and Atlantic storms. A horse-drawn cart with turf piled high from the bog is slowly winding. The woodman, too, with axe and saw to call winter needs is tending. The thrashing mill to the village comes, excitement fills the air. The chaff and straw and golden corn are billowing everywhere. As nights grow long and colder, folks gather round the turf fire warm. A candle's glow lends a haunting air to the storyteller's yarn. The cards are played, the jigs are danced, livestock lie contented. The Lord is thanked for the gifts he's brought, a sock by lamplight is mended. And so comes the end of the passing year, a Christmas choir with voices blending, but the snowdrop soon will witness give to nature's cycle never ending. The west of Ireland is real limestone country. Many bridges, buildings and of course dividing walls on the farms are made from stone from local quarries. Every farmer was a stone mason of sorts. A well-built wall usually outlived its builder. <laughs> 